we tested this data for uh, normality and it passed uh, in the genotype category. Uh, now I'm going to test for homogeneity and see if I can run um, a one-way ANOVA or a two-way ANOVA. So for that, I need to go here and analyze and compare means and where I'm going to see here the one-way ANOVA. Uh, and then and the, the dependent list is going to be by genotype. And I'm going to choose this one here in the S factor, the data that I wanted to verify uh, the homogeneity. Uh, here I don't change anything. And in option, I'm going to click here in homogeneity of variance test. Continue. Then I just need to do an OK. And now uh, my data was tested by homogeneity. And I see here that uh, uh, based on mean, I have uh, a value for significance below 0 0.05, which means that my data is not homogeneity. So I can't run uh, one way or another. I'm going to need to play with non-parametric tests, as Chris Kawalis in this case. To run a Chris Wallis, I need to go here again in Analyze and No Parametric Tests, Independent Samples, and I'm going to choose Customize Analysis. The fields I'm going to put here, to, uh, the test is going to be this one, and the Genotype for Group. In the settings, I want to run the Chris Wallis, that is the one-way ANOVA for a non-parametric test. And play. It's running. When it's done, it's going to show here by the result. And I have now a significance value for my data uh, above 0.05, so... Um, it retains the new hypothesis that my two groups, by genotype, they don't differ between them. And that's it that I did for uh, this, this data of mine. Uh, the counting cells across genotype. I don't see any difference between the genotypes. The wild type and, uh, in this case, uh, my transgenic animal. Well, thank you so much. I hope you could uh, understand a little bit about how to run uh, a non-parametric test when you have uh, data that are, that are no homogeneity. Thank you.